All right, make yourself comfortable in your chair. You do have an option of leaning back into your chair, but still maintaining a good posture in the upper body. Or if you want to start using your core muscles, you do not use the uh, back of the chair. So find your alignment in the upper body. Relax the shoulders, relax the arms. Close your eyes. <clears throat> Mm. or lower your gaze mute okay uh, we close the eyes just in an effort to focus on the inner world do what you need to do for that uh a reminder, you do not have to close your eyes if you don't feel like it, or if there's anything, if it pulls you out of balance, don't do that. Just focus on your inner world in any way that works for you. And now gently scan your body for any tension. And if you find any area of tension, adjust. Release, relax. And use your breath to aid you in this process of conscious relaxation. Relaxing on the exhalation. Now notice where you feel the movement of the breath. Notice the quality of your breath today. Without judgment, whatever is, is, it's fine. Notice if your breath is even, inhalation and exhalation, even in length. Is it deep or more superficial? Is it slow or maybe a little bit faster? And now notice uh, transitions between the breath. That's also very important. See if you can smooth out the transitions between the breath. And sometimes this technique helps. As you finish your breath, inhalation or exhalation, relax and let the next one happen. Relax your breath. And continue breathing like this for a little bit. Just your, nor your regular spontaneous breath. And now start deepening your breath and slowing it down. Expand your breath, slow it down. You can bring a count to your breath if it helps to even it out. Let your belly and your rib cage expand on the inhalation. Now bring your awareness to your rib cage and as you're breathing deeply in, let your rib cage expand three dimensionally, front and both sides. Slow breath, 
I mean slow exhalation as well. Notice how there's very little movement in the shoulders and um, upper chest. Most of the movement as we breathe in this way is lower in the abdominal area. Okay. Now let go of any effort. Just linger here for a moment. Let your breath come back to your natural breath. Maybe even smile a little bit. Okay. And then when you're ready, open your eyes. Okay. Now we're going to start our cat-cow movement with the hands on the legs. Feel free to have your uh, feet and knees closer together, or if it uh, works better for you, uh, take your feet and knees a little bit apart so you uh, feel more freedom here in the upper body. It works like that for me. It might not work like that for you, but you can try and see what works. All right, whenever you're ready, inhale. Arch the back, open the chest, exhale, round the back, tuck the chin, and continue at your own pace, keeping your breath moving freely as much as you can, taking a full inhalation, stretching the spine, stretching the chest, and complete exhalation, tucking the chin, rounding the back. And the intensity, continue. The intensity is up to you. It's still early in the practice, so you might not want to put 100% of your effort in this. Just gently starting to warm up the spine and also listening to the feedback from the spine. How is your spine feeling today? And maybe as you continue your movement, maybe you're um, deepening the movement a little bit, intensifying it a little. Well, intensify is too strong a word for here. Maybe going a little bit deeper into your stretches. All of that timed with the breath. Okay, the purpose of it being stretching all sides of the spine. Well, not so much the sides, but the front and the back, and creating freedom and space in between the vertebra and the surrounding tissues. Okay, for this next three times, on your exhalation, squeeze your belly. A little bit harder. Reach the chest up as you arch the back. Good. And then come to neutral spine. So let's pause here for a moment, just observing the spine. Relax the forehead, the jaw. Okay, let go. Let go of that. Now, um, place your uh, left hand on your chest and release your right arm down. So I'm, uh, I think you see me uh, mirroring you, but just, uh, follow the uh, verbal directions, please. Okay, left hand on the chest, right arm is hanging. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your upper body is in a good posture. And for that, your abdominals need to be lightly engaged. Okay? Right, eyes are open. Now wait for, the, for your next inhalation, and then slowly reaching the right arm as high up as you can for the duration of the inhalation, and then 
for the duration of the exhalation, lower the arm down. Adjust the movement, not the breath. Again. Okay, so that three times, that was three times. Now, same arm, only to the shoulder level on the inhalation. Notice how this forces to slow your breath down, because the movement is shorter. Not the breath, sorry. Slow the movement down. The breath stays the same. Deep and slow. And one more time. Okay. Rest both hands on the legs. Okay. Now we're going to do the same movement on the other side, on your left, but with the eyes closed. And... Same thing, you will be timing your movement with the breath, but notice the difference in how it feels when you do this movement with your eyes closed. And again, only if you feel stable in your seat. If you close your eyes and you feel like it pulls you out of balance, do not close your eyes, please. Okay? So if you're going there, close your eyes now, and on your next inhalation, start lifting the left arm up through the front. Three times. And the next time, uh, after three repetitions, when your left arm is down, open your eyes briefly. Take a deep breath. Oh, yeah, we need to have the right hand on the chest. Sorry, i like, not focusing <laughs> here. Okay, now close your eyes again. And then we're lifting the left arm to the shoulder level through the side. Three times with the breath. And after three repetitions, release, let go, open your eyes, take a deep breath or two here. So those breath aligned exercises are really beneficial to the nervous system and specifically to the vagus nerve that's in charge of the breathing. Okay. Um, Elbow rolls, fingertips to the shoulders, elbows out to the sides, and start making big circles, your full range of motion, whatever it is for you. Breathe. Notice the movement in the shoulder blades. About five, six rotations here in one direction, and then change the direction about five, six rotations in the other direction. Again, noticing the movement in the shoulder blades. Breathe.
Okay, five, six rounds and then release. Let the arms hang, move the shoulders a little bit. Just in any way that feel good to you. Okay, so now we're gonna do some dynamic side bends, uh, stretching the side uh, of the rib cage and everything else in the upper body. What I am going to ask you to do is bring the arms up, intertwine the fingers, and rotate the palms up, shoulders down. So if this works for you, and then we're going to be leaning side to side like that with the breath. If this is too much, feel free to release the arms down. You can have the um, arms on your hands on your hips, or you can release the arms down but do be aware of the stretches in the side ribs, in between the ribs and everywhere around that. Also lateral stretching in the spine, okay? So if you're going there, bring the arms up, intertwine the fingers, push the hands up, abs in, inhale here, exhale, side bend to the left, inhale, come up, Exhale, side bend to the right, and continue. Inhaling to center, exhaling and reaching the hands away from you, away from the crown of the head. Inhale, center, exhale, whatever side you're on. This also forces us to use the core muscles strongly, the obliques. And come to center and release the arms down. Okay. Let's swing the arms up and down and maybe in the front, crossing. So releasing the shoulders. Free movement in the arms and upper body. Okay. Let's do another upper body exercise here. Well, no, actually we're not gonna do it. I don't know if we have enough time for that or not. Let's go on to the lower body, stretch the lower body a little bit, and then we'll come up to standing for our, um, to challenge the balance, okay? Great. Uh, step your left foot out a little bit just to, um, get it out of the way and then extend your right leg and flip your toes up and now you can hold on to the chair inhale extend the chest up and then exhale lean over the right leg with a straight back inhale come up or you can stack your hands on the leg exhale Lean over the leg, inhale, come up again. Try not to round the back here. Okay, and then stay folded over the right leg. You can bring your fingertips down if you can reach, or maybe you have blocks, you can support your hands on the block four on the leg and on the inhalation coming up mm -hmm. okay let's take a moment here let the uh, lower back relax okay now take your right leg out of the way, extend your left leg, flip the toes up, 
this is also challenging the balance a little bit here. So this forces you to uh, strong to engage the core muscles once you start moving with the toes up. So if you put your foot down and slightly bend the knee, so but you're still feeling the stretch in the back, you will feel more stability. Okay. All right. Let's move a few times. Exhale, lean. Inhale, come up. Don't rush. Slowly. Back straight. And this time stay folded over the leg. Bring your hands to wherever you need for support. But do not relax the back. And now tighten the core for coming up and then on the inhalation bring yourself up and bring the left foot in okay now bring both feet forward your legs can be extended or knees slightly bent and let's flex and curl the toes spread them out as much as possible Okay. Okay, good. All right, let's uh, work the ankle. Here you can start with whichever leg. Extend, bend one knee, extend the other leg, bring it up, and flex and point. Okay. And then a few rotations in each direction. Three, five. And... Just make sure you're rolling your ankle in both directions just a few times. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the other leg, flex and point. Mm -hmm. And then roll. And switch the direction. Okay. All right, let's come to standing. So take your chair to one end of the mat, and you will stand behind the back of the chair. Okay. So stand... Uh, with your side to your chair and take your mountain pose please feel free to hold on to the chair so your feet are about hip distance apart or if you feel stable you can bring the feet together I find it uncomfortable but for some people it might be comfortable or maybe even take your feet a little bit more apart for more stability the whole body is strong you're not relaxing here. Strong mountain pose. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. Breathe. Okay. Good. Let go. Now, Turn to face the back of your chair. Okay. Now take your feet any comfortable distance apart and lift your toes. Okay. And then we're going to shift from heels to toes with the breath. Inhale, come up on the toes. Exhale, lower the heels and raise the toes. Continue. Inhale, come up on the toes. Exhale, lower, lift the toes. A couple more times. 
with the breath. If you want to challenge yourself, you can take your hands off the chair. That changes things a lot. <laughs> Okay, and finish your movement. Now, let's, um, you can have your hands on the back of the chair, or, or not. We're going to do a few rounds of dynamic chair, and then hold. So if you have your hands on the chair, that's perfectly all right. So inhale here, and then exhale, bend the knees, Lean forward a little bit. So uh, let's practice it uh, a little bit. Take a, like a practice round here. So everybody facing the seat of the chair, the knees are bent any degree, right? So what to uh, notice here? Engage the abdominals. That will tuck in the tailbone a little bit and then lift the chest. So this is the shape we want uh, in the chair pose. Come up and then exhale. Get into your chair pose again, and then inhale, come up. Feel free to keep the hands on the chair, or maybe you start lifting the arms and come up. Inhale, exhale. Keep your abs engaged. This is imperative here. Okay, come down into your chair. Bend your knees any degree. Maybe lower, maybe just a tiny little bit. Uh -huh. And we're going to hold three breaths. Hands either on the chair, maybe parallel to the ground, maybe alongside the ears. Good. And to come out of the pose, lower the hands if you raise them, and then come up and shake off the legs. Okay. Back to the same position, facing the back of the chair, right foot forward, big step back with the left foot. Let's keep the hands on the chair at first. Okay. Inhale, bend the knee, drop the hips. Exhale, straighten the knee, come up. A few times like that. If you uh, need to adjust the distance between your feet, go right ahead. If you feel strong and stable, you can start adding the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Lean forward a little bit. Okay, and this time, when you're once you're in your warrior pose, lean forward. Feel free to rest your hands on the back of the chair or arms extend. Just a couple of breaths, strong core. Okay, good. Now let's straighten the right knee and uh, take your left foot a little bit closer to the right foot. So we'll work on our warrior three pose a little bit. Okay, so now your hips are facing the chair and same direction as your right toes, right? Okay, both legs are straight. Okay, now bend your right knee slightly and lean over the back of the chair like this. So your left toes are touching the ground. Engage the abdominals, and this might be enough. Okay. If you want, you can start lifting that left leg, again, any degree, maybe just a little bit. 
engage the abs maybe parallel to the ground good and to come out bring the left toes down if you lifted them and then step forward okay i am gonna turn my chair around but you don't have to for the other side uh, remember, it's advisable to have all four legs of the chair on a non-slip surface. Okay. All right, let's take our left foot forward, right foot back. Mm -hmm. Turn the hips so uh, your hips are facing the chair. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move a little bit. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, come up. If, if you're going there, you can start adding the arms on the inhalation, lifting the arms. Exhale, straighten the knee, bring the arms down. Okay, and lean forward a little bit. And now we're going to hold for just for a couple of breaths. So either here with the hands down on the chair, or you can choose the lift to lift the arms or maybe parallel to the ground, about three breaths. Good. All right, release your hands on the back of the chair if you haven't already. And then adjust for your warrior three on this side. Bring that um, right foot a little bit closer to the left foot. Now bring the weight of the body onto the left foot. Come up on the right toes. And this might be enough for you. To lean the torso forward. The toe is still on the ground. Mm -hmm. Maybe staying right here. Make sure your core is strong, tight, but not too tight. Okay. And then if you're going there, you might want to lift that leg, maybe just a little bit, maybe a lot. Breathe. Good. And then carefully, with control, come out. Bring the toes down if you lifted, and then step that foot forward. Come to mountain pose. Let's take a, again, feel free to hold on to the chair in your mountain pose, and just check yourself out. Breathe and notice how you feel. Okay, tree pose. So bring the weight of the body to the leg that's next to the chair. Okay. Uh, and your other foot is on the toes and next to your standing foot. The knee is open. So it's a hip opening as well as balance, cha uh, challenging and building pose. So now see if you can elongate your standing side everywhere, elongating your um, standing leg, the hip, and the side here. Mm -hmm. Good. Now bring all the muscles into the joint here on your standing side, your hip joint. Right? Tighten. And you might be right here. If this is already challenging, perfect. Stay right here. Breathe. What else you can do? You can bring the foot up in between the knee and the ankle. You can also not hold on to the chair, like seriously challenging the balance. Just do what works for you. 
but do it. Check you, that's essential. Challenging the bounds in our practice builds it up. So do what you can here, but don't overdo it. Breathe. Focus on something that's stable, not moving on the wall, on the floor. Okay, good. And then release. Okay, the other side. Same thing. So release your um, other leg so it's free to move, right? The weight of the body is on the standing leg. Now elongate, reach up, squeeze all the muscle into the bone around the hip joint, and then take your other leg into position. Toes on the ground is an either next to the standing foot, knee open, maybe bringing, choosing to bring that foot up a little bit higher. I know that some of you can bring it into the um, thigh, which is perfectly fine if you want. What we don't want is to have the uh, foot on the standing knee somewhere besides the knee, okay? All right, and then find your tree pose and spend some time in it. Challenging your balance. Don't hold the breath. Good. And then release. Shake it off. And let's come back to sit it, uh, to <clears throat> sitting. How are we doing so far? All right. Okay. All right. Sit on the very edge of your chair and uh, bring the straighten the knees a little bit. They're not completely straight. Just straighten the knees. All right, now bring the arms up. If this is too much for your shoulders, you can uh, bring the hands to the shoulders. Okay, let's work the abs a little bit. Now engage the abdominals. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, lean forward. It's uh, not a big movement but all of your core muscles are strongly engaged here. Just move with the amplitude that works for you. Just make sure that you're not moving just the arms. Sometimes that's what tends to happen. If you extend your arms over the head, glue your upper arms to your ears, so to speak, so your upper body moves as one unit. Exhale forward, inhale back. Okay, and let's release, come to the neutral position and then release the arms, bend the knees. Okay, and now bring your feet together. Let the knees drop open to the sides. Mm -hmm. And extending the spine, lean forward a little bit. This also challenges the balance a little bit, so you need to keep your body strong. Okay, on the next inhalation, come up. Mm -hmm. And bring the feet to the floor. And um, 
Now take your variation of a child's pose. So actually, let's do it. Let's do it like this. Let's do it uh, like this all together. Bring your feet uh, and legs together. So we'll uh, and then lay your chest on your knees, if possible. If that's um, too constricting, just have your legs together and lean forward. But so you still uh, your front is still free to breathe. Okay. So like that, if possible, lay the chest on the legs. You can um, hug your legs, hang the head. Breathe deeply. Now, feel that pressure from your legs uh, into your abdomen. Coming up on the inhalation. Okay, now take your feet and your knees to any comfortable distance apart. Inhale, elongate the spine, reach the crown of the head up, abdominals in. And then on the exhalation, starting the movement from the waist, twist to your left you can find the back of your chair with your left arm. So we're going to stay here in the twist for a few breaths. So what's going to happen here, you're going <clears> to <throat> focus on lengthening the spine on the inhalation and then squeezing the belly towards the spine on the exhalation. Next inhalation, back to center. And exhale to the other side. Same thing. Long spine on the inhalation and then squeezing the abdominals on the exhalation. And on the next inhalation, coming back to center. Okay, now we're going to take our child's pose. So take your legs any distance apart. And then either support yourself on the elbows and then relax the head, relax the back. Or if it feels good, fold all the way down. So stay wherever you are. Relax everything and breathe slow breath, slow. And on the next inhalation, slowly come up. You can use your hands to push into your legs and lift yourself up like that. Okay. Now take any comfortable sitting position, but have your upper body <clears throat> open and extended for uh, some breathing exercises. Okay. Let's start with the five second breath. So five second inhalation and five second exhalation. So this is what's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna take two five second breaths and then two six second breaths and then two 
seven second breath. Um, and feel free to exhale. If this works for you, feel free to exhale through a pursed lips. Like you're blowing out the candle. Um, otherwise, breathe through the nose. All right? Okay, let's start. Let's do it together. So prepare. Close your eyes or half close your eyes. Exhale completely. And let's take two five-second breaths. Now six second inhalation and six second exhalation. And now two seven second breaths. And now let go of any effort. Allow yourself to come back to your regular spontaneous breath. Okay, open your eyes. And make yourself comfortable for a few minutes of relaxation, please. Feel free to lie down if you wish on a firm surface or stay in your chair. Make yourself comfortable wherever you are. So that's the most important thing here. So you are comfortable so you can relax or as comfortable as you can be in this moment. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Relax your breath. Now, just uh, gently scan your body for any residual tension, release on the exhale. Soften everything, soften your face, your breath. Soften the pelvis, the abdominals, the lower back. Now bring your awareness to the crown of the head. 
And for the next couple of breaths, a few breaths, I'll let you know. We're going to move the breath between the crown of the head and the bottom of the feet. So inhale with awareness at the crown of the head. And then on the exhalation, move the breath along the axis of the body, center of the body to the bottom of the feet. And then inhale at the bottom of the feet and move the breath up through the center of the body to the crown of the head. So just a couple of breaths like that. Easily, very little effort. All right, and now let go of any effort. Allow yourself to come back to your natural breath. It will become deeper and slower as your body relaxes. Again, notice if any tension has crept up anywhere in the body, there's a tendency for it to happen. Make sure there's no tension at your shoulders, hips, the front of the body, the back of the body. And now bring your focus to the top of the head. So feel the top of your head. And now the sides of the head and the roof of the mouth. So these are like four walls, the four sides of the head. Four walls and the ceiling and the floor. And now picture that these sides are all translucent, the sides and the ceiling and the floor of your head are translucent. Now feel the presence of the healing light surrounding your head. And now this healing power floods through these walls and pour, pours into your brain. Relax. Just rest and allow that presence to pour through the skull and flood the brain. Replenishing the energy, replenishing the vital forces, healing and nurturing the mind. Your brain is soaking in this healing light. And now lower the chin to the chest. And when you're ready, open your eyes.
Now continue breathing deeply without effort. Let's bring the hands to Anjali Mudra in front of the chest. Elbows at the uh, wrist level. The thumbs are lightly touching the heart. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste.